All right, so we got this this stylus tarp. It's 100 by 20. Um, it's I think it's five or seven mils thick. So we're gonna try it out. It is off Amazon. Um, I heard it had good reviews. Uh, you know, they say it's last season over season. We don't know that. So what we're gonna do is get it out, put it on the rock here in front of Old Bessie, and get it measured out to where we need it. And then me and Misty are gonna pull it over, put it on all this, and then get several bricks and go around the outside get in the middle and that way we can try to smother all the roots everything that we've chopped and dropped even the grass heads and seeds because bahia if y'all know anything about bahia grass bahia grass mm. will pretty much grow anywhere so it, and it seed heads really easy so what we're going to do is try to choke it out uh, i've read that bahia i think will die after 120 their seeds will so hopefully this black silage tarp will uh help kind of get that taken care of plus the weeds uh, and then again, like I said, we have the peas and also some of the other legumes that we had planted over here that will add nitrogen natural back in the soil. soil. All right, we've got the first part of it down, and we got we got to put some uh, brick and sand and rocks on it. Mommy's got the other part. We're just gonna open it up and cut it, and we're gonna go as far as we can with it. This shows you how big our garden is. That's a 20 foot wide, and we still probably got another 20 foot on the other side. And this 100 foot roll, and that's probably about 60 foot so far done. So we're gonna finish the other part right quick, and uh, that way we'll see what we need and how much we need to buy. Beauty says hello.
So you guys just saw us do our cover crop, I mean our um, tarp cover, and we've decided since we didn't get enough um, on the rest of the piece, I think what we're going to do is a cover crop on that. That way we can have something to compare and contrast what does the best and what doesn't. And um, I think that'll be cool to see two different um, types of gardening in one um, and to see what works best in our area. So, um, you know, we're learning from other people that have done this. Um, but one of the main differences is, is our weather is so different. It's so hot and so humid here. And, um, I mean, like in my greenhouse, I can remember walking in one day and it was so hot. The thermometer maxed out at 120 and my red line was all the way in 120. So I ended up having to get a fan to put in there just to keep good airflow because it is so hot and humid um, in our area. So we're doing several different techniques that we've learned kind of from other people. Um, so I'm, it's going to be interesting to see the difference. So, um, you know, we'll just kind of try it and experiment with it. And that's what we've done um, really this past, what, two years? Just kind of experimenting yeah. with the different things just to kind of see what works and what doesn't. So. Um, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be some spiders on these. And the... How You can see we're trying to get the rest of it closed up. I don't know if we're going to beat the rain. It's getting a little dark. Mommy's working on the bricks. I'm working on the timbers. Trying to get it fully done. And then we got to buy a few more silage cars. But very excited so far. Mommy, I know we could definitely use this square. It's a perfect square. Like you said, we'll get the corners marked for when we put whatever here. And we'll know this is strictly silage tarps. And then down there we might do half and half and do silage tarps and cover crop. See how it works. And then down here we might try something different. Just to see, you know. Okay, it is starting to sprinkle. But as you can see, we've gotten most of this down. Most of it held down by bricks going all the way down. We've got... Um, one more timber to put across that flat part over there and um, we're going to put one more brick over there sorry I'm probably making y'all sick moving this thing around <laughs> but other than that um, we have this whole piece put down and we're going to figure out what we're going to do with this strip of grass because it's going to defe defeat the point to leave this and let it seed beside what we are killing the grass on. So, um, we've been debating what to do with this. Um, as soon as we get it all figured out, we're going to let y'all guys know what we did. And uh, um, other than that, we've pretty well finished up this project.
right in. I'm enjoying it. Done. Happy homesteading, y'all. Ah.